Okay, I'm almost embarrassed to be doing this episode. Let me tell you why. Today's episode is a product review called RoboStir. And I said I was going to do this product review. I told you guys I was doing it, right? Two years ago. It's got to be like two years ago. No lie. And uh, I lost it in my house. It was in the back of the house somewhere. And it's still in its package. So we're going to open it up. We're going to do it. Sorry. Thanks for being patient. Let's do the product review for RoboStir. Okay, quickly, I'm just going to run down. We're doing three tests. We're going to do scrambled eggs in this pan. And in this pot, we're going to do some pudding. And then we're going to let it stir chili. See how thick it can get. All right, here we go. I'm going to pour it in. Then I'm going to put the robo stir in. And I've got it on low. Maybe I should put it on medium. I think low is okay. Maybe go to the next speed up. Let's see what the next speed does. There we go. Let's try that. That's weird because the commercial shows it going all the way around the pan. Now this could go all the way around the pan, see? It could, but it's not. All right, just, I'm going to leave it alone. All right, as you can see, it's slowing down as the egg's cooking. So I'm going to have to put it on faster. There we go. There we go. I need it to go a little faster so it doesn't... This is an egg test. Yeah, as it cooks, it slows down the... Uh, the RoboStir, so maybe it's not good for eggs. The next test is the pudding test. I'll be back in a few minutes. There you go. Well, I can tell you one thing. It makes a lot of noise. It vibrates my stove. Not even, I mean, this vibrates. Let me get rid of that. But it rattles all my little burners, so it's not real quiet. Okay, so I came back and this is what I'm looking at. Can you guys see that? That is on high and it's getting slower and slower. And it's starting to boil now, so. Remember how it was going real fast? Well, now it's not going as fast. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn the heat off. It's now boiling. That's what it says to do, bring it to a boil. But oops, turn the motor off. Can you see that? See that okay? Let's see if it burned anything. Um, not really. I wouldn't consider that burnt at all. It comes right off, just slides right off. I'm going to warm this chili up. It's a little loose, so I kind of want to cook it down anyway. I'm going to put it right in here. There we go. I'm going to put this in there. I want to keep it moving. It's going really slow. That's low. Watch this. This is what I'm noticing here. It's low. It vibrates more, but it doesn't. Yeah. It, vib it vibrates more, but it doesn't really spin faster. Isn't that funny? All right, hold on. This is the fast one. Look, it's barely spinning. How crazy is that? Okay, so let's, let's look at the positive points. The positive points is it's stirred and it kept it from burning. The negative is all three speeds are the same. The battery started slowing down a little bit already just in the short filming of this video. So that's a little concern of mine. And it's noisy, it vibrates everything. It vibrates the pot and the, and the burners and stuff. It may not do it on all stoves, but I have a pretty generic stove and it's like Grrr. That alone is just annoying. Uh, my wife couldn't even listen to TV in the other room while I was filming. <laughs> Maybe that's worth it. No, just kidding. Um, so I wouldn't get this, uh, but I'm not saying that it's a fail. It probably has a short battery life. I'm almost guaranteeing that. And it's noisy as ever. Just, you know what? Stir your own food. This is ridiculous. Stand by the pot. Take care of your business in the kitchen. You should be leaving the kitchen anyway. So this is not a fail, but I'm not recommending this product to anybody. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, dinner's in about 10 minutes. If you want scrambled eggs, chili, and we'll do some pudding for dessert, okay?